on our way to the mystery spot. And it actually is just like 15 minutes or less out of Santa Cruz city. But just a few minutes of the city, it's like all this greens and jungle, middle of nowhere. I honestly don't know what it is exactly. I just randomly found it on the internet just the other day. Get excited now. Gift shop over there. We pay eight dollars each for the ticket and five dollars for the parking. And I think we have to wait a little bit because we have to go with the tour. And it's gonna be a lot of people. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. When we opened, this was owned by a lumber company, and in fact, we have pictures of this. All the trees you see right now were clear cut about 80 to 85 years ago. It's fun to point out this is a beautiful redwood forest. It's not actually that old. I just like to point that out. Now, when all these trees were clear cut, two brothers came by and bought the land. They did two things with it. They built a lovely home over there and they built a hunting cabin up there. It came sliding down the hill and it actually stopped at an angle that it's still at to this day. They thought this is kind of strange and they had some surveyors who came by to study that area and this is where things start to get a little bit mysterious. One thing they noticed is you can get dizzy in this area. It's not a dangerous effect and it does affect some people differently, but you might be able to feel it as you're approaching the top of the hill. They also noticed you can get shorter on this tour. It's not permanent, but you look shorter. <laughs> so if you brought someone with you today who's always been taller, this is your chance to get revenge. Let's all keep that in mind, okay? Got it? I can show you it's not frozen, it's not rigged, it's not locked in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down on this piece of wood. You can have a look if you want. You're gonna see that is a level piece of wood. Flip it around, turn it upside down, same deal. You guys do need to get tickets. We're selling them in the gift store right now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. it's still a level piece of wood. What? <laughs> Let's try over here. Oh my goodness, oh my it's still a level piece of wood. And right there, and go ahead and stand on the wood, okay? Like you're on skis, kinda. That's it, you got it, you got it. Go ahead and stand with both feet <laughs> and face towards each other, okay? All the way, all the way. That's it, that's it. Now, I would say scooch back a little bit. Now, when you enter the mystery spot, you shrink, you shrink, shrink, shrink by about two inches. You're safe from that effect. But when you enter, you're gonna shrink a little bit and you're gonna get your height back. So you're actually gonna get taller, but we'll see, okay? Now we're gonna start, the top of your head is right about your chin right now, I wanna say. Go ahead and switch places, okay? Give it a shot. And... You should actually get a little bit taller. And this is where things start to get a little bit mysterious. Not too bad. Now, I would say the top of your head is going all the way up to her nose right now. You've grown one or two inches, and that's gonna last all day. So try to make the most of that. Okay? Let's give them both a big round of applause, you guys. Yay. Yay. Good job. Is that the taller you are, the better this gets. Actually, it exaggerates the effect. So from the start, you two are actually looking pretty close to the same. Go ahead and switch one more time. It's gonna be a huge difference this time. I can't exaggerate that enough. Oh, yes, wow. you can see wow. almost like three or four inches. It might last up to a full month as a result. One more big round of applause for both you guys. I think it's just perspective. We're on a hill slant, so it makes it look the heights change. No, but our eyes when it's like. I'm well, pretty sure it's perspective. I think it's that we're on a hill at an angle, and our eyes are with the background. I'm pretty sure. Now we're gonna go into this house that. Kind of located it in like a little it bit. There's a hunting cabin that slid down the hill. Yeah, so now it's like weird spot on the hill, right? Yeah. So we're in front of the cabin. This is the cabin that I was talking about before. It wasn't built this way, built about 30 feet up that hill, came sliding down that hill, and came to a mysterious stop right about here. And when I say the word mysterious stop, a lot of people instantly look at the tree and look at me like I'm stupid. Stupid. And like I was talking about earlier, all of these were clear cut by that lumber company. Now, we do think that what stopped the cabin here was the mystery spot, but that sounds kind of strange. We've got a way to try and prove that right now. I've got a demonstration that I'm going to show you all. I'm going to bring this demonstration out of the cabin. I'm going to wave it in the air. Kind of stupid. Stupid. Want everybody here to go. Ooh. <laughs> and what comes Practice. next? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
the louder that we do this, the more tour guides get paid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you all. The world famous crowd goes, ooh! ooh. Ah. <laughs> that is just a piece of wood. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this table. I'm looking for someone in the crowd who seems really trustworthy, very responsible. You think he's trustworthy? No. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> I want to stand where that X is right there, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, is the bubble all right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put it down on this piece of wood. I want you to have a close look. And I want you to tell the crowd in a very dramatic tour guide voice, where is that bubble? Pretty close to level. Pretty close to level. Pretty close to level. I think you're trustworthy. She thinks you're not. That's okay. We'll ignore that. If I let go of this ball, what should happen? It should stay there. It should stay there. If it's level. If it's level, it should stay there. Right. Oh, stay there. right. That's a bit weird. Let's try that again. Everybody, with me. I'd like to say, as we're heading inside, Please do your best just to save the handrails for anyone who's feeling uncomfortable. If you feel like you've got it, just try and make sure that everyone else has access. That's all I'm worried about. Thank you. works with magnetic compasses if that's more of a GPS. It stays that way consistently. It's perspective. I'm walking in. Let's take a slow, everybody. If you feel like you don't need the handrails, some of us need to scooch over a little bit more this way to save the handrail space. You can stand in the middle of the floor because I'm going to be standing up on this uh, table. You'll be able to see perspective. Me there. Yeah. Totally no, but. This is fun. Oh. On this table, you can see the lean quite noticeably. We're actually all constantly leaning over here. You kind of can't help it. So if you look around, you should be able to see the lean all the time. Let's be careful. Never jump off of this table. In your case, it's actually not that bad. They stabilize on the window here, but it's not so bad. You can just kind of walk right down. Now, there's a few things to show you in the next room. It's actually a non-magnetic metal, or at least it's so close that it has a very slight property. And supposedly the center of the mystery spot, just based on directions, is right about here. The force supposedly goes out about 300 feet in all directions from here. That means that if you push this ball towards the center of the mystery spot, if this is a magnetic effect, nothing should happen because this is non-magnetic. You push the ball this way, and it actually gets noticeably a little bit heavier and harder to push, right around here. If you push it this way, you're actually going to feel that it stays pretty easy. You can push a lot further, it's a lot more comfortable. Just be careful. Don't throw this at someone unless they truly deserve it. Okay? <laughs> Interesting. I can see people being claustrophobic in here, with all the people. <laughs> make me pretty dizzy. Yeah, I think it's maybe like perspective or something. This is another spot where they say weird. Actually, definitely 100% not level. You take the level, you put it down, and the bubble is actually all the way on that side. I know that might sound a bit weird, but currently that side is supposed to be physically higher. Roll it up this way should just come back and it stops and embarrasses me in front of everybody. <laughs> you know, bad try bottle. that again. Bad bottle, exactly. There we go. That is actually the higher side. So, all the tree around here is female, so that would make it mystery. Thank you. Want more than one? No? Yeah. We're done for the mystery spot. Actually, there's like uh, some weird angle or some weird stuff that this hill does. The illusion with your height, so the tall person and the small person can swap heights by changing their spots. Yeah. Even that's, though it's supposed to be the opposite. Yeah, that's what happens. The reason why they keep saying mystery spots because on the level, it's supposed to, the water's supposed to go the opposite way, but it goes against gravity for some reason. The guy trying to tell us the reason why, but he actually also doesn't know why. That is why it's called. You're gonna hit me if I in the vlog just right there without any reason because it's a mystery spot. 